Hans Grom. I work with the Protocol and Liaison Service at the United Nations Headquarters. Protocol does a lot of uh, logistical uh, and organizational uh, uh, tasks for the United Nations. We work for the Secretary General, uh, doing a lot of his scheduling, assisting with his uh, uh, programs, his meetings, uh, conferences that he attends. Uh, we assist the member states uh, in their interactions with the United Nations and with the, uh, the U.S. State Department, the host country. And we work with all the other departments, giving them advice and uh, uh, protocol guidance uh, for their events uh, and for any questions that they may have. A typical day with protocol really would, would contain a bit of all three. It was uh, um, after, after college I got a, a temporary job here uh, doing clerical work in the protocol office uh, for a short time during the General Assembly uh, and that was the 49th session of the GA. Uh, after that the 50th anniversary of the United Nations was kind of a large-scale event and so I support protocol with a large number of projects and uh, uh, tasks that they had going during that year. Uh, and at the end I applied for an opening in the, uh, in the office and uh, have been there ever since. I have been with the UN for 24 years and I have covered this year will be actually the 25th uh, high-level week of the general debate uh, that, I've, uh, that I've worked with. What I would say to describe the general debate and the General Assembly high-level week is taking what we do on a normal scale and multiplying it by a hundred. If you take six months of what we do on a daily basis and squish it into one week, that's what the general debate is going to be. More VIPs, more meetings, more conferences, more events. And the key, the key really to, to, to succeeding uh, in protocol and in many of the other departments that are going through this week uh, is to remain calm, to stay patient, uh, and, and kind of keep focused no matter how much stress there is. The most rewarding part is at the end when you look back and you say, yes, this all happened, this all went successfully, there were no major incidents, there were no major problems, everything went very smoothly. And you feel that massive satisfaction of all those months and months and months that you put into getting to this tiny week and it comes out successfully. There's a lot of skills that apply to protocol. Um, again, not just uh, your educational background or so on, but um, patience, I would say, is one of the most important things because you are going to deal with so many different people, so many different uh, mindsets, uh, and some of them are, are kind of pushy, kind of aggressive, and you have to have that patience to deal with them uh, appropriately uh, and at the same time courteously. You also want to be, uh, I would say, calm uh, in the sense that you cannot panic. No matter how things are, are challenging, like I said, during the high-level week, we have so many events going on, so many dignitaries in, in, in the House. Uh, the Secretary General has such a huge program. You can't panic, because something will go wrong. Sooner or later, something always has a little hiccup. Uh, there will be a little change in schedule, last-minute adjustment. You can't panic. You have to remain calm and say, okay, this is happening. This is how we are going to deal with it. So the ability to, to remain calm under pressure uh, I would say is also a major factor in, uh, in things we do, especially during the, the high level week. Um, and I would say the last thing which applies to us, and I think applies to a lot of other places, is enjoy. To me, the, one of the great parts about protocol is that it is different every day. Today we'll see a head of state, tomorrow we'll see a prime minister, next week we'll see a goodwill ambassador, next, next week we'll see Rio plus 20 or the general debate or uh, any other conference. Every day is different. Every day you will see somebody new, you will see something new, you will do something different. And I think the appreciation of that is, uh, is what's gonna make you know, your time in protocol uh, um, positive and, and really exceptional.